Now to El Cajon, where more than a half a dozen crews on the scene right now trying to prevent a power pole from crashing to the ground after eight utility poles came down, knocking out power to hundreds. 10 News reporter Dana Rice is live with how long it's expected to be before things are cleaned up and everybody has their power back on on this Friday morning. Koshal, good morning. The good news is that power is back on to everyone except a handful of people out here. We're on Mollison Avenue. You can see the road still closed down. SDG&E crews out here very busy this morning. Here's the situation. A power pole came down. You can see this one right here leaning actually on a traffic signal now being held up by one of those power trucks. The lines coming down from these power poles which came down stretching across the street down into the street keeping traffic from moving moving here and this cleanup out here could stretch into the afternoon. Early this morning, crews escorted people out of the neighborhood. We have video of that. They're trying to remove the lines from the areas where they're blocking driveways so at least local traffic can move through here and people can get to work and school. Here's how this started. One pole broke yesterday afternoon. The weight of it brought five others down and left two other utility poles unstable. Both power and phone lines covered the street and power was out. Phone service was off for 1500 people for several hours yesterday and back out here live again. The priority of crews out here getting the lines off the road so that local traffic can move in and out. This area, Mollison Avenue between East Main and Washington, we should mention, remains completely shut down if you're headed over here this morning. Reporting live in El Cajon, Dana Rice, 10 News.